Alright guys, how's it going? And welcome to Phoenix Wright episode 30. So, we got our, out of our first, at least part of the trial for the 30 minute recess, which was really tough. So, we're gonna uh, try this one again. I wouldn't say it was so tough as in crazy. It just had one or two sticking points where uh, I just didn't know what to do and I wasted up all my chances. But we did see the game over screen last time, so we're gonna try and avoid that in the future. Alright, here we go. 1156, Defendant Lobby number two. Emma, you look so sad. Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Damn near. Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface. <laughs> but no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. No, don't be like that. Oh, um... Yeah, I gave blood earlier today, so I'm gonna have to be drinking a little bit of water. So... <sighs> Very unprofessional. <laughs> Sorry, fellas, but no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much, <laughs> except today we're swimming in a quicksand. <laughs> so what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. What? Hmm, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn the trial around, right? <laughs> Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. <laughs> I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell you the truth. Hola, partner. Oh, the marshal. The other half of the setup deal. <sighs> they say you show a red claw to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin' at least. Officer Marshall, I like his tune, though. I thought I might come take a look, see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home branch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. Hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen the last few days have really been on edge. Been really on edge, even. Don't you got enough to worry about on your plate without other people? Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? Not if it has to do with this case. You could be worried about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Hmm, how do you know about that, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now, just don't that just beat all? Hmm. I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. Slender neck. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. Hmm. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth seen it, too, I'd reckon. What's that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. Are they doing this look-alike thing again? Is that what it is? Someone's dressed up to look like her and posed? No, because her knife wound. But they haven't confirmed the blood yet. Hmm. So Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. Sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? Bullshit. If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Woo-wee! Wouldn't mind it. Trial time. <laughs> I'd like to resume? Why are you asking that as if it's a question? What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. What the? Is something wrong, Edgeworth? Your face is blue. Your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow. Those grinding teeth. Those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent. <laughs> it can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. I don't know. Well, then I believe it's time we continue on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable! <laughs> hmm. Seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, er, excuse me. Knock, knock. Hmm? Who's there? Who is this? 
What's with the I uh is he a priest? What the f <laughs> What? Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees and that man came in. Who on earth is he? Uh Ah, uh, it's you. Who? Say something! <laughs> Game just locked you out for a while there. Sorry I'm late. Uh, Uji? The roads are packed, it's just me. Sorry I met Uji. Long time to see you, huh, Uji? <laughs> you been swimming much these days? Ah, <laughs> uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Oh, that's his name. Busy, 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 Uji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Uji seemed to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Aha, so you're Righto, the attorney. I've heard of good things about your son. Eh, uh, <laughs> thanks. So, sorry about our little worthy giving you tr all the trouble, eh? What? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. Ah, uh, little worthy. Mr. Wright, you don't know the district chief of police? No, I don't. Chief of police, that's the guy. He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. What the hell? The name's Gant. Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Uh, okay. So, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Is he connected to that two year thing, too? Well, it's worthy here. Look at that poor fellow. <laughs> He's still paralyzed. <laughs> but breathe this. Hey, that's... It's my sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuck in that exhaust pipe. Hmm? On little Worley's car, no less. Hmm. What? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. Okay. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Okay. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. No desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth? What? That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had... You had... You had in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. What? But you're the person in charge. I expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Huh? This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. Hmm. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. I don't understand. Gah! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Oh, really? Favor, just to be sure, I'd like to to take a look at the blade on this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think you all have to do is push that switch, and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. <laughs> yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at people anymore. Come on, just hurry up. <laughs> Game, game getting to a lot of auto rolling here. Got new evidence coming in all the time. Nonsense. Haberdashery and hemoglobin. Uh, where is the button? Oh, you, you, they mean this. Let's take a look at that. 
There's a small tag on the knife. Seems to say SL92. What does that mean? Well, I heard something similar. DL6 of DL6 incident bay. But it's strange. Hmm? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling we've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, or letters that look a lot like this somehow. Maybe. Ah, don't scare me like that. The tip's broken. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip's broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? Hmm. She did say... Wrapped in the defendant's muffler, small tag attached. That's interesting. So that other knife was a frame job because they said, oh, yeah, the tip got stabbed in and it wasn't the tip. I remember hitting that on the first, uh, not first, but the first trial episode, being wrong about it. Maybe I was on to something. This is not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but can I ask you to testify for us about the split be between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Sure, sure thing, not a problem. You little, not all right. <laughs> My boy. Hold on. Uh, 6-7S. Hmm. Hmm. Department in disorder. This might be special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in shape in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. What? Wasn't he killed at the prosecutor's office? The time of the crime? 515. Scary coincidence, eh? Okay. It's not officially linked to this case, so I can't talk much about it. Hmm. Okay. There... It wasn't murdered at the police department? A detective? Another one? That's hush-hush information, Uji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Objection. Wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. It does go with our opening graphic. Hora, hora, hora! Anyway, we at the department where it's all flustered. Well, we're all a flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. We'll press him. However, keep your questions focused on, on the case at hand. Fair enough. Knife is special, but I can't say now here. Hold it! Hold it. Tell us! Excuse me. Special? Hmm? Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Hmm? Might that be a special thing, be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Rido, but I can't say that now. <laughs> We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why is there another knife at the scene of the crime? It's quite a mystery. It's impossible. Although, they just say that... They didn't say that, actually. It just says that Goodman was killed within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. It doesn't specifically say it was exactly 5.15. And I like mystery, isn't That's wrapped in something. A muffler! Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. Uh... I think it was killed. What a mess. On the same day the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot? Another detective? Kids killed in the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, U Uji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help, if you help me by giving me data on your case. Ho ho ho, good one, the kid's shop. Anyway, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Okay, I wish I had not done this already. I wanted to go through and press the rest of his testimony. We already know when he died. The police.
police station how the victim was killed. Looks like he was stabbed. Well, we know he was killed at the police station. Let's go with how the victim was killed. How was the detective killed? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was what we in the force call a stabbing with a knife. Yeah, I know that, but maybe it'll give me more details. Exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit we're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. Hmm? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. Seems like I'm gonna have to press this a bit harder. Yeah, so it would seem. Let's go back. Back. Okay. Did I miss that already? Or did I do it? This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? Yeah, and somehow I got like way deep into his thing. See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department I can't explain. It's still the kids, okay? Sorry, righto. Maybe there's something about this knife that will give us a clue. Yeah, the tip. Let's examine that knife all we can, righto. <laughs> righto! <laughs> Evidence that links the knife to Detective Good. I think that perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting a piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So... Uh, okay, I guess that's the game giving you a little bit of something. Gotta use the tab button since the present option's too dangerous. Check. Uh, is there anything more to check on this? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, yeah, the the note that was in his pocket, but that's pretty. That's pretty thin. Hmm. No. Hmm. Something happened at the police department too. You got a good look. You got a good look in your eyes there, wide open, my boy. Sharp, hungry. So something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? What? How would he know? No matter, I understand. You were busy with that Lana's, well, with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened to the police department that day? At the police department. Hmm. I was killed. What a mess. Okay. On the same day, the detective was killed. I wonder if he's going to tell us one more fact. Okay, let's go with where. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. Okay, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. Okay, the evidence room. You wouldn't know about the evidence room, would you, Righto? Yeah, actually, we would know about people bringing in tasers in there. Can't say I've heard of it. For the records room, I guess I should ask again... Once I learn a bit more about the evidence room. Okay, I think it's starting to come together. I feel like I should be taking, like, real notes at this point. <laughs> There's something stranger about this than the police, than the place where the body was found. Hmm. 5.15. That's... The detective Goodman was killed. Yes, we've established that. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place and a murder at our place at the very same time. Coordinated strikes. What are the chances? Damn low, I'd say. Coincidence? These are just my gut feeling. But I'd say there's a... Oh, yes! <laughs> Chief Grant, please tell us more about the incident. It's not officially linked to this case here, so I can't talk to you much about it. How can you say that there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. <laughs> I can't just say anything I please right now. <sighs> Maybe there's something that ties two murders together? Yes, it seems like that. Better find it and get to the bottom of this. Two detectives were killed at 515. What the prosecutor's office? The police department. Can't be.
maybe coincidence. And that knife. What's it doing there? Hmm. What was it doing in there? I better check this knife out. We did check it out. Now let's go ahead and do that last one. <coughs> department occur? Now that's a sharp question, right? Oh, very sharp. Well, my boy, you're gonna love this. Uh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that one was like the least relevant because it was like part of the testimony. So, uh, <coughs> hmm. It's like here's our spot. Let's save it this time so I don't have to go through all the... <coughs> mm. I don't have to go through all the rigmarole in case we mess up. Now, what could it be? Hmm, not that. Six dash seven. <clears throat> oh, maybe it's this. You know, it does say seven S. We could say it's that. Uh, cause seven S. What was the knife again? Uh, SL dash nine two. It's not really the same thing at all. Uh, that can't work. Can't be that. Can't be this. I don't know about that. Let's see how this helps. Autopsy report. Maybe the fact that he died at four between four and five thirty. But I feel like they're all saying that the death happened at five fifteen, so I mean the knife itself is I mean the knife itself you could say is the connection between this knife and Goodman. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. Um, hmm. Let's try that. Alright! It worked. <laughs> Wait a second. Ah! At last! An honest to goodness objection! <laughs> he was waiting for that. He's a fan. This knife. This has something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Ah, ah, and honest to goodness, what do you mean from Uji? This is great! <laughs> Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL-92. And this is important. Why? Over here we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. 6-7S-12-2. What's this? 6 minus 7 s Twelve two. Your Honor, it's upside down. Upside. The name printed on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around, what do you get? SL nine. <laughs> two twenty one, which would be the same day. Ah oh, boy, let me tell you something. I didn't get that. I did not know that, and. I just figured it was the only piece of evidence that could work, so we'll take it. <laughs> Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. Hmm. If he handed it to somebody, handed it to him right side up, and then the person wrote it upside down. Could be possible. So nine. It's the same thing on this nice tag. I feel like we got lucky there. Well, Chief. Ah, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. <laughs> I win? Ah, yay, I win! <laughs> Edrith hasn't had much to say here. <laughs> the knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. That was a bad day for the department. Wait, what? Oh, okay. 
Okay. So this knife... Stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder... It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. Hmm. It was evidence from a case long solved. Is it, uh, I don't know, two years ago? So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there wasn't a connection there. Yeah. Hmm. What's it doing there? Yeah. Uh, so... What am I trying to... It didn't, that didn't really advance... Oh, okay, it just gave us that little bit of hint. This knife was evidence. It was stolen from the, the apartment's evidence room. Okay. Stolen from the department's evidence room. This knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. It's a bad day. Okay. What do you say for that anyway? Something happened. Yeah. Okay. I need to, I did need to do a press there. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Huh. Did it change the description of the knife? Nah, it didn't. back to this knife was evidence in the case it was stolen from the department's evidence room okay I don't think there's anything contradictory in that Skewer's trophy hmm that's not helpful parking in the prosecutor's office lot that might be helpful. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Knife was stolen and evidence. Let's see what else we got. So that isn't going to help us. I don't see how this would help. Maybe you could say that on the last thing where it's like it's not connected, you could say that Goodman was found there. But I don't think that's it. King of Prosecutors? No. No. Hmm. We just got this, right? So they turned it around for us. So, uh, maybe you could present it here. Let's save it first. Like I said, I don't want to have to go back and redo everything. So, uh, it's not officially linked to this case here, so I can't talk much about it. You could say Goodman's note. It is a link, even though we just kind of established that. Let's find it Nah. Your Honor is... Does? 
This is evidence? I feel like it should be this line here, right? Because none of the other lines changed. We got this is new. The knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. Um, maybe it's not stolen, but he took it? Nah. That wasn't it. Tough one here. This is different now. What? Really? We can? Okay. Uh, I, obviously I'm gonna have to cut to that part, but, okay, hold on, let's, no, uh, pause, so, I spent a long time looking through all the evidence, trying to figure out what could work, what couldn't work, and, you just, I, go down the same hole that I've been down before, and it says something different now, because you said something different in the trial, the game has never worked that way. There has been no mechanics that have been like that up to this point. They either give you some kind of, like, new evidence or something like that that you can then present. Now that you press, ask the question that you already... Like, I don't know. I don't agree with that. So is it automatically going to say that it is? The defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Hey, you don't say. Well, out with it, righto. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. <laughs> the connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had it on him, the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered the police department was killed in that very evidence room. Oh, yeah, I mean... That's fine and all that, but we've already figured that. But we needed to go down and trigger one specific piece of dialogue? I just don't like how the game did that. That's kind of lame. Like, they should have had something separate or different pop up at the end. Because that's what they normally do. If you figure something out, then you have a chance to say, like, Okay, well, I changed my testimony. And then you can either present evidence on that changed testimony or anything. But that changed testimony did nothing for us. Except for the fact that you could then go to something else that's unrelated, press that, and that would lead to it? I don't know. Disagree. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. I didn't even really read all that because I'm still not happy with how it turned out. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. <laughs> Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet, and all. Oh, can we get the information unofficially? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. <laughs> but, but yeah, I know. A lot of crazy stuff is working. Who would have guessed? Not I. I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? Okay, so we changed that last part. You're gonna tell us a little, why not tell us everything? 
Ah, uh, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well. Guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Oh, this! The ID number. That'll help. How about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Sure, why not? You sound like you'll be able to tell who it is from that? Of course not. You won't tell me their name after all. <laughs> we can look it up later. We keep the tight lid on ID number, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... 584-2189. Okay. It's the same number as Goodman's. Well, that's quite long. Yabba dab. <laughs> we have to re oh, we have to re it drives me nuts. Eight, two, I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? The ID number of the victim in the police department. Yeah, it does. It's the same person. How, though? I'll tell you how. Okay, I, okay. so this is kind of what we suspected this whole time, right? Well, it's not exactly what we suspected, but we saw the two murders happen. But what I'm curious is, did the guy got killed at 4 p.m.? Maybe it's the same guy. He got killed at the police department. Somehow they put him in Edgeworth's trunk while he was sitting there receiving his thing. Lana Sky was called down to the parking lot. Edgeworth gets there at 512. Lana Sky gets down to the prosecutor's parking lot. And there you go. Uh, but they framed her. But why? And why put the knife in the tailpipe? Obviously, whoever did this is attempting to tie Edgeworth into this. That's why they've, they're trying to... Oh, it's premeditated and all that. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. <laughs> Meaning? Come on, we got it. It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. Say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something. What does it tell you? Same thing. Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. <laughs> no, I, it's just, I got confused. And this is news? Oh, get out of here, Edward. Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. <laughs> He's right. The police department, prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. One ID card. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. A hole! Is it yours? Come on, Your Honor, I'm not a cop! <laughs> this is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, righto. Personnel IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 58424. 584 Nani? And this means what? Oh, come on, Judge! <laughs> Wait. Yeah. We're from the team earlier. That started with 8 2. Hmm, I've forgotten. <laughs> the judge, you're pitiful. You didn't even get the first number right again. <laughs> These numbers that the chief of police gave us was 5842189. No, wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Sharper's attack, right? Oh, Sharper's attack. But wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department in the evidence room at exactly the same time. Objection. Objection. What are you objecting to? That's impossible! So what we're saying is, the same person was killed at the same time? And in a completely different location? Hey, I don't make it up. <laughs> order, order, order! Chief, what does this mean? Objection. Objection! No. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret. Fine. But I'm the prosecutor in charge of this case. 
Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Uh-oh, look at this guy. Or didn't you hear me? Look at that. See that evil smile right there? The oversight, the grave error. Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Ah! Look at this guy! <laughs> Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright? Where have we heard that name before? He's a, he's a, cat, he's a guy that came in there with the, the ugly face. <laughs> Cut hand. Excuse me, but is this Mr. Edwards' uh, office on the, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of Chief, sir. I just got your report, sir. He's right. You don't need him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me, he said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered at the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on top of the report. He's right. Edgeworth, he, he kind of got him. Why didn't your officer tell me? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. <laughs> he did seem challenged. We'll see. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. Objection! Objection. But sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... He's kind of got you, Edgeworth. Come on, game. No such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. Damn. What? Now, what was that second rule of evidence law, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Uh, it's, uh, rule two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you'd submit a list of evidence to be used in the court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? Yeah, well, I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. But other people have submitted evidence that has not been proven. Hmm. I guess I get it. The connection was just proven by Rido over there. Good job, Rido, my boy. <laughs> huh? Uh, I... I was just doing my job. No. No! <laughs> Damn, Edgeworth. Yeah. I can't to say it, but yeah. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy, with all those rumors. You were even in the defendant's chair this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. No kidding, huh? Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time. Really? Oh, okay, Chief. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for that is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. <laughs> For our sake. Very well, court is adjourned. We'll take it. Wow, that was, uh... Challenging. Uh, like I said, the... It's like this case has one or two parts in it that are uber challenging. The rest of it's not that bad. I don't know what happened, but the courtroom stuff's not that bad, but... It's got one or two, like convoluted like oh it's gotta be this craziness like i don't like the mechanic of you had to go in and uh i've already uh, forget it i've already complained about it enough but i kind of feel like that's not right uh i, I mean i really look for a while there <laughs> so it just doesn't flood just it's just something different that they hadn't done throughout the rest of the game they did it in a different way this time oh well so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that and I mean, the case is still really good. Don't get, don't let my complaining distract it. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. See you, fellas.